Hello everyone, I'm Leon Kapong, metric number 70220, project manager of Team Honeycomb. Today our team will present to you about our project, IEM UMPSS portal. This project will be brought to you by our team members. Our first member is Jackie Lee Nan Kong, 60988, quality manager of our project. Ham Wen Xing, 69868, support manager and test manager. Azurin Binti Jack, 65931, process manager. Leong Ka Pong, 70220, project manager. Esther Wong Ching Ya, 69636, planning manager. Tan Li Chuang, 71764, Implementation Manager, and Loy Yirong, 70238, Customer Interface Manager. This is the infographic on IEM UMPSS portal. Using our system, students or event participants can view organization information, view announcements, view events, select and buy event tickets, as well as make payment. Meanwhile, admin can use our system to create new event, set event ticket price or participant fee, edit event details, make announcement, and edit organization information. So this is the introduction to our project. IEM UMP SS portal is a port project that is entrusted to us by our client IEM UMP student section. Our project will solve our client's problem faced with conventional methods. This is because our client needs a platform to publicize the, their organization, also their conventional methods to event registration process is inefficient. Therefore, we propose our solution, which is IEM UMP SS portal web application. This web application provides a platform for IEM UMP SS to market their events. It is a centralized system where users can view, select, and purchase event tickets. It also comes with an integrated payment system where users also can make payment with our web application. This web application is also easy for our client to manage events and event participant lists. Next is company background on our stakeholder. Our stakeholder or our client is the Institution of Engineers Malaysia, University Malaysia Pahang Student Section, or in short, IEM UMP SS. This organization offers various activities that cover different engineering disciplines. This is to promote sound engineering practices. They host numerous events such as talks, talks involving overseas speakers, seminar, workshop, competition, courses, nationwide event, and inter-university event. In their organization, they have various departments such as club advisor, management team, technical division involving various engineering disciplines, publicity and public relations department, and multimedia department. Next, we move on to our team background. Our team is formed by seven students from the class TME 3413, Software Engineering Lab, Group 1, under the supervision of our lecturer, Madam Nofauza. Our team name is Honeycomb. It is inspired by the lifestyle of bees that build honeycomb through cooperation and hard work. So the metaphor is that Honeycomb is like our project and through cooperation and teamwork, we will make our project success. The motto of our team is teamwork makes the dream works. WhatsApp and Microsoft Teams are our main communication methods. We also use project management tools such as Trello. Greetings to Madam Nafauza. My name is Han Wing Sheng. My matrix number is 69868. Now, I'm going to state the problem statement of our project. IEM UMP SS organizes many events each year. These events are usually organized manually and marketed through social platforms. To join these events, participants are usually required to fill in designated Google Forms and make payments separately to buy participation ticket if the events require participation fees. Some events are also participated by purchasing tickets through physical booth at UMP campuses. This conventional methodology of IEM UMP SS in handling event organization and participation possesses some problems such as difficulty in keeping track with events, participant lists, hard to confirm participants' payment status, and inefficient registration process. 
With the proposed system, IEM UMP access portal, it solves difficulty in keeping track with event participant lists by saving the event participants' details online to a server. To help event organizers to confirm participants' payment status, our system allows users to buy event participation ticket online. To improve efficiency in event registration process, IEM UMP access portal makes sure all the event registration process from event selection to event payment are done in one single platform. The project objectives are to study and analyze the existing system problems and find the solutions for inefficient event participation procedure. To design and implement an all-rounded web application that involves event management and event ticket purchases. And to test and evaluate the capability of the web application according to client's requirements and specification to fulfill client's satisfaction. This project aims to develop an online ticket booking system for IEM UMP access that can be easily implemented into the IEM UMP portal website. By using this system, our client can save a lot of time and budget without selling ticket in a physical ticket selling place. Moreover, this project serves the role of a decent and reliable system as a foundation for the further development of IEM UMP portal. Through IEM UMP access portal online ticket booking system, the user can view all existing events held by IEM UMP access, purchase event tickets, fill in information when purchasing event ticket, make payment through a secure online payment gateway, get event booking receipt via email generated by the system, view frequently asked questions and organization information, or leave a message to the admin to contact us. For the admins, they can make announcements, view, create, edit or delete the event information, view, add and delete participants from participant list, or view the sales of the event ticket. This is the system architecture for IEM UMP SS Portal Online Ticket Booking System. Hi, my name is Azurin and my metric number is 65931. I will present the next slide, which is the project scope. Our team will collaborate with Institution of Engineers Malaysia, IEM from University Malaysia Pahang, UAP. We will develop our website system, which is an online ticket booking system for students in UMP. The benefit of this system is to help the student in optimizing their time where they can book the ticket from the official IM UMPSS portal. Some of the features included are organization page, book now page, and contact us section. Then in the system environment, table one shows the elaboration of the system environment for IM UMPSS portal where the elements consist of software, hardware, and system requirements. This categorized into two system environments, which are development and delivered environment. The last part of my presentation is the system functionality. Figure 5 shows the system modules of IEM UMPSS portal. This is the user interface for this project. This table are the elaboration from the system modules in Figure 5. That's all from me. Thank you. I'm Tan Li Zhuan, metric number 71764. Scrum consists of three general roles, such as product owner refer as the stakeholder or client of the product, who ensures the requirement of the product are met and delivered. The next is Scrum team, which, which refer as a group of members varied from different expertise and knowledge who developed their project jointly at the start of each sprint. Scrum Master refer to the person who leads and guides the team in accordance with the rules and processes in the methodology. There are three artifacts starting with product backlog, a list that contains everything about the product or system required to satisfy end users, prepared and controlled by the product owner. Sprint backlog is a subset of items of the product backlog which are selected by the team to perform during the sprint on which they are going to work. Product increment is a summation of all product backlog items completed during a sprint and increment of previous sprint that delivers the system or product in a usable condition at the end of a sprint. There are five events in Scrum. Starting with sprint, the basic element of work for a Scrum team with a fixed length of one month or less. 
Sprint planning is where the Scrum team define the task that must be done in the sprint. Daily Scrum is a daily brief session to evaluate the progress and trend until the end of each sprint. Sprint review is to show what work has been completed with regards to the product backlog for future deliveries. Sprint retrospective is to identify possible process improvements and generate a plan to be implemented in the next sprint through the mistakes and noted down from the previous sprint so that it will not be repeated. Hello, my name is Lori Rong and my metric number is 70238. For the team education, first of all, our team leader, Leon Kapong, as project manager, who planning, organizing and directing the completion of our projects. The second member is Esther Wong, as planning manager, who supervise and participate and overseeing planning development plans and application. The third member, Han Wenxing, who hold two roles as support manager, who supervise the maintenance and security of technical service, and also as test manager, who ensuring visibility, traceability, and control of testing process to deliver high quality of software. The fourth member is Tan Li Zhang as implementation manager, who implementing and developing a project infrastructure. The fifth member is myself, Loi Rong as customer inter inter customer interface manager, who building and managing effective relationships across multiple, multiple interfaces for the project. The sixth member is Izurin Binti Jack as process manager, who evaluates, design, execute, measure, monitors, and control processes to ensure project process outcomes are in harmony with an organization strategic goal. Last but not least, our seventh member is Jackie Lee as quality manager, who supervise the project process to make sure that project meet consistent standards by developing and implementing quality control tests, inspecting at various stages. Our team goal for this project is that team members manage to work together and fulfill the task given. Team members able to gain knowledge, experiences, and learn skill that is relevant to the project, manage to complete the project with the budget given, and emphasize client certification and prioritize high quality assurance throughout system development. Thank you. Hello, my name is Esther Wong Ching Ya. My train number is 69636. First, I want to introduce our working system to you. As stated in our project proposal objective, we expected the website for institution of Engineers Malaysia from University of Malaysia Pahang to manage the event and be an online ticket booking system for students in UNP and as official website for their institution of Engineers Malaysia organization. The features that we have in mind for the website are user-friendly and have the similar functionality as any other online ticket booking system. The user interfaces of the website are simple with clear language and vivid. And this is the documentation of our proposal. A proposal is a documentation to brief the stakeholder on overview of the project and how it will be executed. Software requirement specification, SRS, explain area operation and how the website or system develop in detail. System design, system design Specification, SDS, is a document that describes the complete or design of the project together with the scheduling, staffing, and detail costs. It is also used by programmers to create the system. Test Summary Report is the report that provides stakeholders with a condensed account of the overall test results, defense, and connect data following a test project. User Manual guides up our client in using the system. It can avoid confusion and give a clear explanation of the function provided by our system. TSPI forms are used as a tool to gather, analyze, and report the data for the project. It is also used to assign team role and set out the goal of the project. This is the gun chart for the spring one. Uh, the spring one has start, at the, has start on 11th of October and end on 2nd of November. And spring two will start on 3rd of the November and end on the 30th of November. And this is the gun chart for the spring tree. Our spring tree will start at will start on the 1st of December and end on 3rd of January. That's all for me. Thank you.